Hey guys, welcome back to Tropical Blitz and our YouTube channel. And today we're talking about how to mix your paint and mixing cups and the proper ways to mix or certain cutters to get the best results. So on this episode, we're going to be talking about the basics. So stay tuned. Made in day, baby. We're going to just talk about the fundamental basics of our base coat. So we have two options here. Majority of our colors are one to one, but we do have quite a bit of an arrangement of two to one and it's mixing it properly with the proper mixing cups. These are mixing cups that we offer on our website. It's very simple. If we have a system that's a one-to-one, -one, that means one part of paint to one part of reducer. And all you have to do is follow the mixing cup direction and match the numbers. If you're gonna go to number three, you wanna make sure you go to number three with your paint and then the equivalent three that's right next to it. Same thing with our two to one, it's two parts paint to one part reducer and so on. And the biggest thing is that once you mix our product into these mixing cups, you gotta make sure you mix them thoroughly. And you have to make sure you, when you open the paint can and you're gonna start mixing the paint, you scrape everything in the bottom. We have custom paint sticks that have a curve to it and that radius is a perfect radius to get all your metallics and all your pigments out from the bottom of the can. You wanna make sure you mix all that properly because sometimes just throwing on the paint shaker and shaking it it's not gonna cut it we have so much heavy metallics pearls pigments that it will settle to the bottom that's what gives our color such a depth and separation from whatever else is out there on the market make sure you mix everything properly and get it all ready to go and once you're ready to go and you're ready to spray your project you're gonna see the beautiful colors just because you mixed it properly 99% of human error comes from mixing incorrect products together or or mixing different brands of product together with our product. Our product is designed to work strictly with our reducers and within our own paint line. All right, so one of the biggest things that we have, we have people all the time ask us. So we have different reducers and different activators for things on our website. We have a great example we're gonna have here, our inner coat activator, and we have here our base coat activator. So we have different products for different applications. So our inner coat activator is a great example. It's an activator for our inner coat. Now, our inner coat does not need an activator. Our inner coat is a one-to-one, -one, one part act inner coat to one part reducer. But the inner coat activator plays a role when you're doing custom cutters and you don't need to worry about bleeding from your artwork and you wanna protect your artwork or you're worried about candy bleeding. This is gonna completely help you with that issue. Completely, that's what it's designed for. Now, our base coat activator is a little different. This is gonna help you with your base coat. Same thing if you're multi-layer and everything. If you wanna worry about, if you're worrying about flex, chip resistance, this is designed to give you that extra insurance and that flexibility of having an activator. Now, we have different temperature reducers. The biggest thing that you have to know is take note to what your current and ambient temperature is at where you're painting. Right now, we're located in Miami, Florida. Our temperature is usually around 85 on a nice day, all the way up to 95, 98. So here we usually always use slow reducer. Slow or extra slow, but mostly slow reducer. If you're somewhere in the desert, Texas, El Paso, Texas, somewhere the temperature is brutal, you wanna use very slow. That's gonna give you enough time for their products to flash off and bite into each other. Guys, if you wanna see any more information on our products, check out our website, www.tropicalblitz.net. And if you love what you see, like, subscribe, and follow.